いざ天理ジョーク手綱気をつけなさい<笑>よっさる
花と酒を手に景色を堪能しようとしたがあの頃とはもう違う旧友とまた。いざ剣女番ファイヤー血陣俺に告げ車いに染まって散りなさい手伝って堂々不意打ちせっおっよっはっワオ
天道万象岩山八ファイヤー教頭先生こっちで絹のような弱さねさまとギャッホーどうどん不意打ち
Anna to...
今こそ出陣の時絶対に足は引っ張らない。
のイカチ風も赴くままに。でもいいのよ。行こう。
Mit dem Code Feed the Host bekommst du 30 Tage lang 30% Rabatt. Das bringt nur Volt. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the High Sea. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord, 
the greatest empire, will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program! Let's take a look at the trailer! On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Transfixed! Everlasting as the moon! An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen. But he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however. You among us are willing to sit from a glass filled with Please. tainted water. We I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told, so I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Dun, 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 dun. Hello everyone! I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone! Yay! Yo, yo, welcome! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey, everyone! My name is Erin Avet. I'm the voice of Arla Kino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program! Yeah! Hi, folks! I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah! And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. What up? It's me, <laughs> Max Middleman. Hey, everybody. What's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude. So good. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for days. <laughs> All 
right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Erin, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. Okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm, that's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the Focused Experience Mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah! Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Transfixed! This is where you fall. Oh, Dude, she's so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. 
guys. All right, well, if we're going to talk about Arlecchino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanics. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Uh, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes, right? very good, student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait know, a second. It's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. <laughs> okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as yeah, she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> 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 she's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring her enemies. Yes. Yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. <laughs> During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. Yeah. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, I do. <gasps> Let's mm -hmm. discuss the new weekly boss. Oh that's my gosh. right. We were just talking about how the knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you ready to see a new name? Yes! Ready? I am ready! So ready!
Wow. Not even Linny and Fremenet have seen this side of her before. Mm. So the knave is accepting challengers now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's <laughs> smooth. It feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> hey. It's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Hmm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Ah. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? I hate <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh. It's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. <laughs> oh, it's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> <sighs> So, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. <laughs> Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm-hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. <gasps> yeah! Ooh. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the Adventurer Handbook, going to the Domains tab, selecting Trounce Domains, and pressing Quick Challenge. Wow! Oh, that's cool. It's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. (laughs) That is really valuable information to have. (laughs) And it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. Cool! Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? His picture is right there. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sina wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Oh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses, but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. So yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. (laughs) Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Speaking of great news, I think Damon also has some important information to share. Wait, wait, wait. wait, Really? Wait, wait, wait. What are we waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. Can can we we take a break, please, so we can digest all of it, please? Damon, please, please. He can't keep getting away with this. I always do, though. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. (laughs) (laughs) That was amazing. That's what I thought.
Welcome back, everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story of our Lakino and the House of the Hearth. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, <sighs> encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. What? Oh my gosh, uh, that's amazing! Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I, I actually, I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain it in a few <laughs> words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm-hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle, silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> Me oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Ah. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. All right. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, (laughs) dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. (gasps) Rock and roll. Yeah. All right. Let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, everyone! Hey! (laughs) Okay, I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself! (laughs) Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So, I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. Uh Of course! 
He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm-hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. yeah. Both Hu Tao and Xin Yan performed mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. That's Ooh. right, and this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh, and even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent, arataki, rockin' for life, tour to force of awesomeness, really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And the theme of this concert is about life. Specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Yeah. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Ooh. So if you Ooh. enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one, extreme carnival ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. We can't have (laughs) a rockin' music festival without a rockin' venue. So travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And lastly, (laughs) we have the Meeting of Melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, Oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. (gasps) Hold up, hold up. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived? What? Yes! I love Wind Trace. And and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes, yeah? Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before, but there are a few new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. (laughs) Ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh Oh my gosh. (laughs) It's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most Mm nerve-wracking. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And in another event, travelers will receive... A rather strange commission. What do you mean, rather strange? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Huh? Oh, yeah. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision, and a jade plume terror shroom, and the millennial pearl seahorse. Huh? You guys heard me the first time. (laughs) 
Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? <laughs> but for now, it's time for me to introduce the game club. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay. We hear you. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Mm. That's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. That means that so is much incredible. coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Sarah Mela Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, The Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The Heated Battle Mode will also receive an update, so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. All that. Mm -hmm. oh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I yes, you agree. I was gonna well, say I, I agree, agree too. I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's check out the the, the last, last redemption, redemption code. code. Yay! Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice! Ooh. First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serena Teapot, such as the Quick Obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so convenient. The Avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's Arama you and bet. the Thunderbird and uh-huh. Rue uh-huh. uh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm-hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. Ooh. Let's go music! Yeah. yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Ooh, yeah. yes. Music is my favorite! So hyped. <laughs> Oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> I know, yes. I know. So I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Say it's not so. Is, is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Ven answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay. You've got now. this. You've okay. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm. Just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, yes. We've did we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yes. She's so oh, cool. Totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things. Mm. And that's all I'm gonna say right now, guys. Yes. It's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. Yeah. It is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in, in a long time recording. So, oh, um, oh my gosh, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yay! Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so y'all. glad I got to be here with <laughs> you guys. It's just guys. such a great time. <laughs> So thanks for being here, and I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Bye. 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 See you later. Love you. <laughs> Bye.
どれにしようかな。